And hello, I'm Josh. I'm Ken. Welcome to Ken and Josh Go to the Movies. Today we're going to be reviewing No Country for Old Men, starring Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, and Tommy Lee Jones. And directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen. My favorite directors ever. Just to know where my bias is going into this review. The basic plot of the movie is pretty bare bones for such a deep movie. Basically, Josh Brolin discovers a bunch of money that was left by a drug deal gone bad. He takes it, then a completely badass hitman, played by Javier Bardem, tracks him down, and Tommy Lee Jones tries to stop them from killing each other. Basically the plot. But the thing about this movie is it's not as much about the plot as it is about the subtext. This is very much a head movie. It's a pretty intellectual movie. And on that level, it works amazingly well. Yeah, um, it's definitely, I love the Coen Brothers as well. It's not what you would expect from these guys. It's much less funny and less quirky, and it's more it thoughtful and dark. And it is. It's more It's more on the Barton Fink side of Coen Brothers than it is on the Fargo side of Coen Brothers, I'd say. Even then, Barton Fink is really quirky and weird. This one's... Yeah. It's a little more, a little bit more straightforward. It's in the same way they're both deep films, mm -hmm. but um, it's also a really hard film to enjoy. I don't think that's what they wanted out of this movie was enjoyment. There's some scenes where usually in a typical thriller you would get the payoff, and here they don't give it to you because that's not what this film's about. Well, this is that's that's one opinion. My opinion. I totally enjoyed this movie. I mean, there's some pretty cool shit going on throughout that. You know, like, Tarantino would be proud of Bardem's weapon, which is a cattle-stun gun. Yeah. And just lots of crazy, gory shit, and lots of really tense moments, and some pretty good some pretty good thriller stuff going on, in addition to the head stuff. Yeah, um, I wasn't blown away by it the way Josh was, but I think it's a film that you can't watch once and just get an opinion off it based on that. You need to see it again, because there is a lot going on in here. It's based on a novel by Cormac McCarthy, who's a pretty pretentious writer who I don't normally like at all. But this movie cuts out a lot of the shitty description stuff that McCarthy does and sticks with the dialogue and the ideas, which are really interesting. Yeah. Lots of stuff about fate, and kind of, like, Bardem's character, Shigur, makes a lot more sense if you think of him as, like, death incarnate than as just a normal hitman. Yeah. He is just, like, indiscriminate, killing people for no reason, totally guiltless, it's... It's a crazy performance. And we need to talk about the performances. They're yeah. all amazing. All um, great. Tommy Lee Jones is actually my favorite, I think. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Bardem's good. Um, Kelly McDonald is, like, uh, the love interest. She's really good. And Josh Brolin, he's had the best year he, of anyone. He's had an incredible year. year. I'd never heard of him before this year. The Goonies. Whatever. i never seen the Goonies. Whatever. Not, a, not the point. Um, but, yeah, performance is great. The one problem I also had was it felt, if you've ever seen the movie A Simple Plan... Have you seen that? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that, actually, when you think about it. A little bit. Same basic story, and it's about the same kind of morals and themes. Yeah. The simple, on. hey, don't do simple plan either. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. I love it better than this one so far, I think. But I don't, this, I, What sets this apart, as what sets, a, sets apart every Coen Brothers movie, is the production, which is spot-on perfect. Visually, sound, everything is... Beaut this, this doesn't win an Oscar for sound design. I'm going to be so upset. It's not going to. The Roger Deakins cinematography, the editing. But he just, also did Assassination of Jesse James, which is also that's amazing. Right. That's right. Yeah. Two sort of westerns going on. Yeah. And two interesting movies to compare to, because they're both slow and they're both more than what's going on on the surface. This one's much less slow, though. Than Absolutely true. Yeah. Should we show him a rating? Sure. I gave this movie an A with an awesome haircut. The haircut makes the movie. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a question mark because I have no idea how to feel about this after just one viewing. I'll tell you how I feel. This is my favorite movie of the year so far. But we'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh. I'm Ken. This is Ken and Josh go to the movies.